My name is Jessica Hurtado, and I was asked to come here tonight to read you guys the eulogy that I wrote for my best friend, Jenny Duncan's funeral, which I will read in just a minute. But I first wanted to say a couple of things about my dad, Joey Bentley, who passed of, a, of an overdose in 2013. His passing greatly influenced mine and Jenny's relationship. So to tell you about her, I have to first tell you about him. I've understood my dad more since his death than I ever did in his life. God allowed my dad to continue teaching me long after he was gone. After all, there is no better teacher than grief, and nothing can open your eyes like loss can. Time is a thief, and overdose is his right-hand man. It will rob you of the opportunity to make amends, the chance to say I love you or give one last hug, and many other opportunities. But what overdose does not don't know is that you grow in this kind of pain. That while it was busy tearing you down, God was taking those pieces and building you back up, stronger and better than you ever were. Now you have a new set of eyes that can see the person underneath the addiction. You have a heart that is soft enough that it can bend and mold to love whoever the way they need to be loved. You're wiser, bolder, and more empathetic. You are a better person for having known this grief. So before I begin talking about Jenny, I just wanted to thank my dad for teaching me in his life and even more in his death. It was an honor to be your kid. And because of you, I was able to love Jenny better. Now I will begin Jenny's eulogy. After I get a sip of water. <laughs> How would you define a friendship? Would it consist of empathy, compassion, unconditional love, a willingness to protect someone, honesty, forgiveness, or understanding? Would you fight for your friendship? How each of us perceive friendship could vary. I remember laughing with Jenny when she would brag about our friendship. She would often tell people, you need to get you a best friend like mine who will run someone over for you. Hashtag BFF, hashtag that's my best friend. To clear things up, I didn't actually run anybody over. I may have just hit her ex-boyfriend with my car after he called her a name. Lord, please forgive me. It's funny to laugh about over the years, but truth be told, that word he, still, he used still ensues so much pain when I recall that night. He called her a junkie. At the time, Jenny had been doing good for so long, but even if she had not, those words cut like a knife. I looked at her and the shame and embarrassment I saw creep over her face, set something off in me. So I put it in drive, put the pedal to the metal and I hit it. It tore the whole side view mirror off of my car. Thankfully he wasn't hurt. But the look on Jenny's face was so worth it. The shame and embarrassment was gone. We laughed until the sun came up and a few days later, we talked him into praying for the damage, paying for the damages. But that word still gets me, junkie. And I feel like I need to put into words what my car spoke then. He called her a junkie like it was her name. Like that's all she was, is, and ever would be. That is the furthest from the truth. She is Terry and Lenny's daughter. She's Mindy's baby sister, and she's a best friend. A mother, a cousin, an aunt, a niece, a neighbor. She's a bright ray of light. She's a giggle in a quiet room. She's someone's true love. She's an artist, a poet, and a singer. She was a firefighter, a confidant. She's the dancing queen, a great secret keeper, a lover. She was an adventurer, a shoulder to cry on, and a listening ear. She's a favorite memory, and she's my soulmate. But more importantly than all of that, she is the daughter of the Most High. See, Satan knows your name, but he calls you by your sin. But God knows your sin, but he calls you by your name. And her name was Jenny, a princess to the king, his beloved. I wanted you all to know who Jenny really was. Jenny was a once in a lifetime kind of girl. She had a spirit that drew you in, that made you take notice and left you wondering, who is that girl? You couldn't help but wanna know her more. She literally had a sparkle in her eye when she smiled and an infectious giggle that she will always be known for. Once you were around her, she rubbed off on you and you left her presence believing in magic, true love and fairy tales. When I'm reminded of Jenny, I think of fireflies and road trips, of first kisses and dancing under the moon and playing in the rain. 
I think of laughter and fresh fallen snow. I think of innocence and the sun reflecting off the lake. These are the things I will hold on to while letting her go. I will always remember Jeannie as a best friend, the one that would never let me forget the time I chipped her tooth. Boy, I heard that story all the time, saying when she died, I'll know it's her because of that chipped tooth. The best friend that was with me to spray paint the side of the bar, only to look back as adults and realize we wrote cool beans, Jen and Jess, not as cool as we thought we were. All of these things are a definition of friendship to me, and I will always cherish the memories I built with Jeannie. Thank you. Well, I don't know that I could have stood up here and done that, so I just want to say thank you again.